everyone, welcome to Julie Reads Her Bookshelf. I'm Julie. For those of you who are new to this channel, this is a channel where I aim to read through every single unread book on my bookshelf until I reach zero. Uh, and we are, of course, a long way from that. I have a kind of a different video today. Um, today I'm going to be sorting through the bookshelf behind me. The main reason for that is that at the moment the bookshelf is looking a little bit too full and cluttered. And what I want to do is take some of the books off here and I've just gotten um, a new vintage cane bookshelf in my second bedroom. Um, so I am hoping to get some of the modern books, contemporary books off this bookshelf and put them in the other room so that this bookshelf has a little bit more kind of negative space. Uh, we'll see how we go and, uh, and I might talk you through some of the books as we go. So as you can see, this is the bookshelf behind me and uh, we have a mixture of classical books as well as modern and contemporary books uh, and a mix of fiction and non-fiction and it's just looking a little bit too cluttered. So what I'm going to do is, because this shelf is in my living room, uh, I'm going to try and keep all the um, books where they are part of a, a series or an edition uh, out on these shelves and everything else I'll move into the other room. So hopefully I can clear about two shelves of this and spread out the remaining books a little bit. living room final look. I didn't do much to the lower shelves uh, because they're mostly obstructed by the, from the view by the table anyway but the higher shelves look now much clearer and less cluttered and I'm really happy with the way it looks. I also moved some books from uh, another room back into this room. Um, this is my main bookshelf but I do have a couple of piles of little books uh, over in other rooms and I've mostly moved some of my anthologies back and I'm really happy with the way that looks. Uh, but now I have fairly uniform um, additions and themes on the top three shelves. Uh, and I'll keep doing my little bookshelf tour so you guys know what books I have. But um, overall, I'm really happy with the way it looks. And I think it makes the living room look a little less cluttered. So I'm very happy about that. So this is my spare bedroom. Uh, and before COVID, this was an actual guest room. And I occasionally let it out on Airbnb, but after COVID, I don't really want to do that anymore. So I changed it into kind of a half music room, half uh, office situation. Uh, but I actually have a separate home office, so I'm actually not really using this room to be a home office at all. Um, the desk is, I don't know if you can tell, under, <laughs> underneath all the junk, the desk is really lovely, so I didn't really want to get rid of it. But over the weekend, I went and bought that uh, cane bookshelf in the corner there. And look, I'm not sure if it's the perfect piece of furniture for that space, but for the moment, it'll do. It was cheap. It was uh, environmentally friendly for me to take that off someone rather than have them throw it out. So I'm happy to have it there. And while it's there, I'm going to try and put some of these overflow books from my main bookshelf on there. And uh, at the moment, I'm not sure if it'll all fit. So we're just gonna have to see how we go. the books in 
mostly their previous arrangement, that is to say by colour. Uh, most of these books on the shelves are, are now kind of modern contemporary fiction and I've also got some bags and uh, little tchotchkes that I've got uh, around as well. Looking around the room, I also have this desk. I've been meaning to get the desk restored because the surface is actually in quite poor condition, but the shape of it is absolutely beautiful. And it's an old mid-century desk that comes with an inbuilt shelf. So what I've been trying to use this inbuilt shelf to do is to build up my collection of Chinese language books. So all my Chinese books are currently going here and I've got a fair bit of space here before I you run into my little bags. I've also put up some artworks uh, while I was at it. So this is, uh, excuse me for the reflections, this is a beautiful uh, poster of some floral photography done by a photographer that I follow on Instagram and uh, Jamie Beck that is. And she did a photo for every single day of lockdown while she was uh, in lockdown in Provence and at the end of 2021, uh, the last lockdown that we had here in Melbourne, I decided to buy one of the day one of her lockdown uh, just to commemorate uh, this strange and horrible period in all of our lives. And then across here is also a beautiful illustration. I bought this in Milan at a little market and then I spent maybe 20 times that amount getting it professionally framed. And the framer did a fabulous job. You'll see they've done kind of a shadow box style framing and it's just a beautiful little illustration that I saw at, at the little market in Milan. And over on this side, we have the other illustration that I bought <clears throat> at the market in Milan. And this was actually part of an illustration uh, set for um, theater pieces. So I think the person must have been drawing uh, theatre sets and costumes and stuff because I can see a lot of them were designed uh, for specific plays or operas, but I, I don't really know which one this is from, um, but I just thought I would get two prints and then, uh, and then get them framed to commemorate my little trip to Milan last year. And over on this side, we have Dali and Frida. And of course, my little electric piano um, and some plants and photos uh, and a chest of drawer. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Uh, it's a little bit of a different video this time. Uh, I'm really happy with the results. Uh, I, th I think the room looks much clearer. It's less of a place for junk and actually now kind of more of a functioning space where I can uh, play piano and work if I want to change of uh, work environment but you know this desk uh, I can't quite bear to throw it away <laughs> uh, and that's why it's in here but otherwise um, eventually I think I'll get this particular desk restored and move it into my proper office uh, but until then it's sitting in here as kind of my second office uh, but eventually when I clear out the desk I'll probably put like a comfy armchair here so this can be a cozy little reading room and music room in one so uh, I'm really happy with the results uh, I'm feeling really really kind of rejuvenated and refreshed every time you do this big clean up and resorting through your books uh, and I'm really happy with the way that the books look in the living room now as well so thank you so much for watching a little bit of a different video this time and uh, I'll be back uh, in a couple of weeks for more thanks